Hello. Hello. As you can see, I'm with Ross. We're out for a, a camp out tonight, cook some food. Ross has got a hammock set up. I've got um, a new tent to show you. So it should be a good evening. Last time, if you saw that video, I had all my good expensive stuff. And this time I've got some good but cheaper stuff. Yeah. So we'll see how they compare. I've got to pick it up. Another one bites the dust. The first shot you were setting up. Yeah. It breaks. Yeah, the first one. So the truth, anything that's got Joby written on it, don't buy it. Everything I've ever bought from them has been junk. They're sponsored. Sponsored by Joby. Sponsored by <laughs> yeah. So, my raincoat is uh, OEX, and I really like OEX stuff. I guess Go Outdoors own brand, but they're sort of upper level stuff. This coat is great. See, I've got an Arcteryx one now to replace it, which was, I think it was over 300 pound. It's a lot of money. This was about 60, 70. And seriously, this is definitely good enough. The Arcteryx coat is vanity. I like to think I'm not into brands and everything, but in reality I am. This coat is definitely good enough. I really like it. The trousers, North Ridge, these are fine. They were about £35. The Vialraven ones are probably 120 something like that now. The truth is I think I would still go with Vialraven stuff because I imagine they would last four times longer than these. Looks good. Nice spot, similar to where you were last time, I think you said, didn't you? Pretty much exactly where I was last time. Very good. Yeah, so we'll set up here. I think yeah. it'll be good. It's a nice little walk in, about eight, nine, ten miles. Something, something like that, yeah, decent think, walk. Same one as you did before, wasn't yeah, it? So, yeah, same route, yeah. yeah. To compare the gear, how did you find, so? Well, I, not much difference, if I'm honest. No. Not much difference. I mean, I'm carrying a bit more weight, um, but not a lot. No. That pack there, that's the one I wore last time. So this is a army surplus pack you've got isn't it this pack yeah this is a dutch army surplus this cost me about 30 pounds yeah and that was about 150. Yeah. yeah this is a really nice pack dutch army i think it's 35 liters i like it so the tent i haven't even got this out this is the oex bobcat everyone raves about them 60 pounds 65 one man little tent so this is i'm pretty certain going to be absolutely perfect for this yeah like i can't it. imagine it's not going to perform they're well reviewed aren't they yeah, i've they are. looked at them ones as well it's a nice little yeah nice little tent yeah. but i haven't even got it out yet i hope everything's in there we're going to find out let's set it up so it's got instructions inside the bag they're yours thank you i don't know if you're allowed assistance set up for a man tent <laughs> the point, <doesn't> it? <laughs> is that not allowed? Yeah, if it's a one man tent, you should have to set it up. Would I edit you out? Okay. Seeing as though this is a big green screen behind us. I was going to say, should I just wear it? Yeah. I'll get my green skin suit out. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Very You've nice. got the instructions, so instruct. Oh, assemble pole sections first, it says. Does it? Yeah, try to okay. get pole sections. Yeah, do you want a pole section? I shall. There we are, there are the pegs. We have pegs. This is always, by the way, a good way of saving weight on a tent is to replace these heavy pegs. They're beefy pegs with lighter ones. They're actually not that heavy though. Oh, I, I, I didn't know, if, given that we're doing a, oh, cheap a cheap gear thing, yeah. you'd like to replace these with yeah. titanium pegs to save 0.3 of a gram. Or per platinum better. Platinum, okay. yeah, yeah. These aren't light. These diamond, are light, I should diamond say. Diamond tipped, because then they'll go in anything. Diamond tipped tungsten <laughs> pegs, yeah. Welcome to this episode of how to spend more than you need to just on everything. A singular pole? Just one, yeah? Wow. 
lay out the fly sheet, yeah. yeah. As flat as possible. Okay. With the pole's sleeve facing upwards. I, I, it looks to me like we peg out the back. I would think so. And then... This looks um, dead simple. I swear they write this and then have someone rewrite it just to make it as complicated as possible. <laughs> so they, they make it say, can you send that to the overcomplication <laughs> department? So it's going to be windy in the morning. I believe so. It would be good to see if it um, blows down. Ide it would be ideal because you should have had, I think it's coming around 6am the uh, forecast rain. Yeah. Um, and Well, no, forecast wind, sorry. So you'll have had a decent night's sleep and then there'll be a good test of the tent. So here we go. All set up. There's enough room in there for a decent sized pad. And there's your inner. You've got a solid lower and a mesh upper. I like this tent. Pocket there. It's the hook up there for lamps and things. I mean, it's 65 quid. It's insane value, really. I don't know how much it weighs. I was going to look it up. So I just checked 1.9 kilos, which is not bad. It's not ultra light. It's light, though. I have my trail cam. Last time, if you remember, I saw that albino deer. I thought it might be an idea to set this up, see if I can capture it. Yeah, see what we can capture with this. So, expensive chair, cheap chair. And almost identical. We've used both of these before, haven't we? Yeah, that, that's the original. They invented it. Yeah. These ripped them off. But that's like 130 odd pounds. Wow. This is 17. And do you know the sad thing? This is more comfortable than that. Yeah, well, I've sat in that one. I've, I've yeah. never sat in this one. It's crazy. Yeah, you'll see. We'll do a comparison yeah. now. But, I mean, the, that is a lot lighter. But this is, yeah, just a, a rip-off of that. And it's hard, you know. I don't like using rip-off stuff. I feel sorry for these companies. But the truth, that shouldn't be 130 quid. It should be a little bit cheaper. Comfy. Have you sunk? I think I'm in the process of sinking. That, this is quite nice actually. Yeah, but not as nice as this. Mm. Gotta lift your feet there, cut off the shot. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. These, these are, yeah, this one's nice. This does, it pinches you a bit on the hips, doesn't it? Yeah. A little narrow. Yeah. Pinches you on the hips. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall I get the um, anti anti-sync device. Yeah, the coffee. No, let's just sink and try that I, one, not whilst I get them. Fine. Yeah, this one is comfier. Yeah? It is. I'm going down unevenly though. That one I seem to be sinking at evenly, at an even rate. <laughs> That's probably the yeah, ground. You've got the cakes. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Where are the cakes? It's out of reach as well. <laughs> are they the same? Oh, they're not. No. Have you got a preference? Not really. Can I have the yellow one? <laughs> you can have the yellow one. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you got yours! You <laughs> You were coming over still. Oh, my God. You are the pauper in the uh, camping... <laughs> in this video. <laughs> yeah, camping video. Well, it's funny because there's a couple of bits of gear when you're doing the cheap, reasonably priced basic option where you're just directly borrowing it from me, aren't you? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no. Which it, it makes sense because I don't camp as often as you. You're the pauper. I'm the... Uh, I've got the occasional camper set up, which yeah. is just... And I've got the pro level. Here. Yeah. Did you notice in that last video, I was in the van and I ate something and there was food all over my mouth and you still left it in? There was a little bit of food, yeah. yeah a little, it's a big lump. Yeah, I know, but you were t and then you, <laughs> you, you eat it. Uh, like you're, you kind of absorb it, <laughs> like a reptile. <laughs> just kind of... <laughs> yeah. But you were saying something. I was like, oh, please notice. Mm. But it was valid, it had to it stay had to in, stay didn't it? in, yeah. But I'll never not see that. I think either mug is a um, is a fair, reasonably priced mug option. I went with mm. the just white enamel, the classic camping. Yeah, I got the classic the folder folding cup. one. They do get burnt by fires a lot. Well, if you put them in the fire. <laughs> if you put them in the fire, yeah. We've got to put this uh, hammock. It's just always a nightmare. I know. I, I almost dread it. Every time, it's like I've never done it. We'll get it right done. 
So time to get the bed set up. First of all, it's getting cold. This fleece, you can't see, regatta. It was two for 12 pounds. I mean, to be honest, a fleece is a fleece as far as I can tell. So, as for the sleep setup, I've got this Trekology sleeping pad. Uh, about 40 pounds, which is considerably cheaper than the Thermarest ones. This hasn't got a very high R value. About the same as probably the X Lite, but uh, it should be fine. I'm kneeling on that closed cell phone, really thin mat. I'll put that underneath this. What else do I have? Yeah, my pillow. Sea to Summit air pillow. I mean, they're only about 20 quid, so you don't need to spend a lot on them. This sleeping bag, three season rated OEX. This is Ross's actually. I borrowed it from him. It's a mummy bag and it's got a limit of negative five degrees, which is, if it's true, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, these are fine. It's not down, obviously. It's uh, gonna be an artificial lining. It's quite heavy, um, 1,600 grams, but not crazy, but it's bulky, that's the problem. I think the down ones are lighter and more packable, but uh, you can make do with these. So that'll be the sleeping bag. So that's it, I'll get all that set up and then I'll uh, come back and show you. So yeah, Ross has just told me this Cost him about 60 pounds, about eight or nine years ago. Feels nice and warm. Oh, it does. Actually, the lining in it is really nice. It's not like that horrible polyester. I mean, it probably is polyester, but it's got a smoother feel to it. Yeah, I'm gonna be plenty warm in that tonight, I can tell. The only downside is a mummy bag. I'm used to quilts. And I always feel a bit confined in these, but what can you do? There we go, all done. Bed set up. It's a nice snug fit in there. I mean, there's no more room. The pack would have to live in the vestibule. Whereas my Nord tent has got an extra sort of area at the back. But this is a true one man tent. I'd say that Nord tent is a one and a half. I've heard people say one man and a dog, but I don't have a dog. More a knife. These are really good. I think this one was 24 pounds and it's pretty cool. It's got a fire steel built in, which I can't seem to get out. Just hold the blade and pull. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, you twist. So it's got a fire steel built in. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Lovely. Yeah, that's cool, 24 pounds. I mean, these are legendary really, the Mora knives for being good budget knives. And you say budget, this is all the knife, well, I would ever need anyway. That's what I mentioned, so this is the stove. This is the reasonably priced stove, I would say, wasn't it? It was a Van Gogh. Yeah, I remember you getting that. Something, again, had it a long time. A Van Gogh, yeah, something or other. There's loads of uh, different ones like that. They all work well though, don't they? They do. We've got two or three, haven't we, between us? Yeah. A couple uh, of little pocket rocket ones, and then this one, which is the nice thing about this is it really goes down low, so you can actually simmer your food. Yeah, yeah, that right. is good. How much was it? Do you remember? I think it was only twenty pounds, just over. Yeah, that well, was a while ago, again, wasn't it? Yeah, Nine years ago. Yeah, we bought a load of stuff, didn't we? To we were, neither of us were into this sort of stuff. No. And then we decided to go camping in. Was it Switzerland or Snowdon? Well, we thought about. <laughs> I think we were planning to go to Switzerland for hiking and then, you know, camping. Oh, we thought we'd And we therefore thought we'd better test the tent somewhere <laughs> and actually do something before we just drive off to Switzerland. So, uh, yeah. And strangely, we would have been better off going to yeah, Switzerland given preparing for Snowden. Exactly. Yeah, so we bought a load of gear between us and you, you bought that weird, ridiculous cot thing that we used yeah. in the hot tent video. Yeah. I bought something similar and I immediately, after we got back, bought my Thermarest and just went crazy buying all the stuff, yeah. as I do. Yes, you had one slightly negative, actually in fairness, that was more than a slightly negative experience. I remember by going out and we had to go and buy a different sleeping yeah. bag. Yeah. But it wasn't even the sleeping bag that was the problem, it was the fact that I had no sleeping pad. Ross is gonna <laughs> make himself 
uh, injured. A collar. <laughs> well, we've we're um, I've been soaking the rice. I think what you meant to do. And I'm nervous about any method of draining water that would leave us with a large rice loss because this is as much rice as we need and I want it all. So you want all that rice and you'd rather risk cutting off your own Well, I'm hand. thinking if I, you know, sacrifice a jar lid yeah. and just stab a few holes in, I'll be able to drain it. Do it, but do it safely. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not committing to that, am I? No. There we go. Ah, actually not bad. That's kind of sad. I wanted a, a little bit of a hand stab, because that would have been the thumbnail, wouldn't it? Could have been, couldn't it? Look what happened. You won't believe what happened. I hope you all notice that we actually are anti-clickbait, aren't we? Yes. We, sometimes <laughs> we come up with perfectly legitimate titles to the videos, and we reject them because they might come across as clickbait. This is draining really well. <laughs> it's done the job. Sort of proud, isn't you? <laughs> I can't believe how well it's worked. So what is that? Spice mix. So we're doing a biryani. Yeah. We haven't even said, have we? Yeah. You did a biryani the other day, didn't you, for your on your own? Um, By myself. Expensive gear. My expensive gear video. Video. Yeah. And I thought, oh, it's interesting to have a direct comparison. I thought we'd do a slightly just from scratch biryani. Proper. Biryani. Proper one. Yeah. So. I mixed up, this, well, just like turmeric, mm -hmm. cinnamon, bay leaf, mm -hmm. um, cardamom pods. Yeah. Just mixed that up before we came. It smells good. It does smell good, doesn't it? And then I've chopped in an onion, that was what we did a second ago. Yeah. And we're going to add the rice in a moment, I think. I will check the instructions. Got a chicken stock ready to go in. Nice. So it should come together quite quickly. It's sort of a one pan, one pot thing. It's quite yeah. a small pan. We decided just to bring a normal little frying pan. I think yeah, that's frying right. pans are not particularly heavy, you know, I think. And it's in, I mean, you found your titanium one. It just doesn't cook as well, does that's it? That's a so. fail. Yeah, it's no good. Titanium frying pans don't work. And it was expensive as well. That's a prime example of uh, spending money for stuff that doesn't work as well. A proper little frying pan. Yeah. Why, wouldn't, why wouldn't I do that? There's something wrong with me, really. It's like a compulsion to spend money on things. Yeah, I think, I think well, I think I said to you before, I think it was, um, I think that from doing the AT, as you're, you know, you obviously you got into camping a bit and mm. then you decided to do the Appalachian Trail. Mm. And I think that by doing that, I mean, obviously that had a real necessity for lightness, Likewise. didn't it? That makes and that sense. kind of creates a bit of a I mean one that's why you've got so much of your gear is lightweight gear because you've just had it from that yeah to be fair that was yeah all a hangover from that yeah not all of it but most of it yeah and then getting out of that mindset yes. of, of thinking well no I don't have to go super lightweight for everything I don't know if this is all going to fit I don't want to do that thing we overcrowd the pan and oh, then yeah. overcrowd the pan have you never heard of what is that an actual saying I think it is an actual saying you're not going to overcrowd the pan with that well I think I will if I do all of this chicken, I don't know. Do it. It's got to be bold. All or nothing. Overcrowd or go home. There's rice. It will swell. <laughs> yeah, but the chicken will shrink. <laughs> you think they'll reach equilibrium between them? <laughs> yeah. It's it does. always going to be the same level no matter what you do. Trust me. Yeah, you've got loads of them. That's quite a deep frying pan. See, this is the thing, the more money you spend, it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting better stuff. It means you're going to get lighter stuff. But lighter stuff is just always going to be a compromise, isn't it? Like that stove there, you can simmer with it. Yeah. And the pocket rocket you can't. No. And the pocket rocket is more expensive. But lighter. It's a conundrum, isn't it? It is. A conundrum, people. The biryani has been transferred to the billy can. Yeah, we <laughs> we realised we didn't bring any um, didn't bring anything to eat out of, did we? <laughs> These billy cans are brilliant, by the way. They're a cheap alternative to the titanium ones. This is part of my thing. Yeah, they're really cheap and very good. We're having a go at chapatis again. Again, yes, yes. <laughs> do you remember? I don't know if you do remember. I will probably put in a little clip 
I've never seen anything like it. I had the wise idea of making up the dough in advance this time. And I'm glad I did that because, I mean, obviously it was a disaster last time. Yeah, yeah. But I can see why, because when I tried it at home even, ooh, it's starting to burn, let's make it quick. Um, very, it's a very fine balance between sticky yeah. and, you know, like you're meant to get it um, elasticy the dough, mm. but not sticky. And it's just, I mean, I, I can dribble more. I mean, that's how I found it the last time. I thought mm. I just put in a dribble of water, and all of a sudden it went from powder to. Um, you didn't put a gone. dribble in last time. You did a vomit of water. I, I honestly, yeah. the, the the bit that tipped over the edge was a very small amount of water. I mean, these Chapati. are hopefully going to be good. So I've made made the dough at home. Yeah. Brought it here, and we will see how that they ends. look good. They do look good. I think you meant to have rolling pin and get them really thin. I'm yeah. just kind of squishing them. I've you got can... a titanium one, probably. Titanium one. <laughs> Take a little. You can make another flat disc if you want. <laughs> how big? Oh, the size of that one, yeah. Yeah, a bit bigger if you can. That that looks a bit thick there. Yeah. You want to kind of squish it, spread. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit there and tell me to spread. <laughs> squish and spread. <laughs> the old squish and spread. I don't know where I'm going to put this. It really would have been a good idea to have some plates. That would have been... Yeah. I can carve one up for you now. Can you? Yeah. I'll just fell a tree. Ooh. With the Mora knife. Um, in the bowl? Oh, I can upside down. Yeah. Stack. Mmm. That's good. Yeah. Tiny bit doughy. Just because it is probably a tiny bit thick. Squish. The old squish and stretch. Squish, squish it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> squish and stretch. Is that you? Yeah. Some professional with you. Yeah. Oh, I can bring in the indigestion tablets. In it goes. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> I'm screwed. Spicy curry and doughy bread. <laughs> <laughs> What's like, an, is there a nature's Indigestion, indigestion tablet, like probably. Some sort of... Just eat some bark. Yeah, but what bark? Right, any. Any bark. Just go for it. <laughs> or oh, I walk nine miles to the van. <laughs> yeah. Christ, I, do you know I'd have to? I'll have to. We're going to go for a walk later, aren't we? Yeah, I'm not walking nine miles to get indigestion tablets, though. But what if I get... <laughs> Chronic indigestion? Yeah. And what if on the way to the van something attacks me? Then you're not there. A deer. A deer. Killer deer, that albino deer I was on about. Yeah, it could be after you. It's a were deer. What is where in werewolf? Weir. So would it be a weird deer? A weird deer. Yeah, I suppose so. Half man, half deer. What would that be? I'd be like a really stupid man, wouldn't it? <laughs> that just runs around eating grass and getting hit by cars. <laughs> <laughs> I've really taken all the worst qualities there. <laughs> the worst qualities of a deer? Yeah. What are the good ones? Are they massive generous? <laughs> just massive <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't fear weird deers. <laughs> fear weird deers. <laughs> like there's like a kid's book in that. Yeah, there is, yeah. Don't fear weird don't deers. Don't fear the weird deer. So, cheers. Oh, you left me hanging. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Right, how spicy is this? I mean, it's edible. I haven't got a kick though. I haven't got it yet. You haven't got the spice? Or maybe it's just in certain bits. Maybe I've got a cardamom pod or something. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. Not too bad? Or maybe it's just safe in certain bits. Maybe a cumulative this spice. This is good though. Yeah, it's I mean, nice, that's isn't it? really good. Better than the one I made on my own. Good? Mm. Yeah, it is hot. It's got a spice to it, yeah. It's nice. I like it though. Mm. It's not too hot. Right. We'll eat this. Mm -hmm. And then we might have a fire, mightn't we? Fire going. We did. 
Always nice now for second beer second and beer. Second, last beer. Second of two. <laughs> it's been nice. Nice meal. I'm looking forward to trying out that tent tonight. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the hammock. Mm. Yeah, you haven't slept in that one, have you? No. That's your hammock, isn't oh, it? The uh, awesome. Dutchware, gear, chameleon. Is there anything more relaxing than a fire? Depends on the situation, doesn't it? <laughs> if it's in your house. In your house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I, I suppose, but I think, I think you knew what I was getting at. I did. Yeah. So, of your cheap gear yeah. so far. Oh, my opinions. Yeah. Well, well, it's not really, I think cheap gear is not really, because it's, it's, it's not looking cheap. at value for money, isn't it? Because we've yeah. not, it's, I think, I can't remember if you said in the last one, but we sort of said when you were doing the expensive one, we had the idea of, you know, doing the cheap versus expensive. Yeah. Or value for money versus overpriced. Value, value might yeah. be. Yeah, that's but it. It's reasonable price it's looking versus at, overpriced. We want to look at where where to spend your money and where you got value and where things are overpriced, not just mm. do the, um, you know, you've seen a lot of videos, I've seen a lot of videos of people just going out yeah. where they just buy spend a hundred, yeah, hundred dollars on, yeah. you know, Walmart or Timu or something like that. Junk. And get, yeah. yeah. You might and, as well just bury it. And, just... and that's, it's not, you know, it might be entertaining to watch, but it's not, um, it's not helpful. No one's learning it? anything from no. it, are they? Whereas hopefully, I think our thought was trying to find the balance where I already know to be honest I can t I could tell you now the way it's going to work I mean the tent aside unless that tent leaks in the night yeah. but um, I would say you save money on the tent that bobcat is easily going to do 99% of what my expensive nor tent mm. will do so that's good so you can save money there the sleeping pad save money on the sleeping pad I would say I think you should invest in a good quality quilt or sleeping bag yeah. I think maybe down I think that that makes sense to me I think if it's you're not planning essential. to do Backpacking and camping. Mm, mm. That because the compressibility. Yeah, I think that 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 sleeping bag you'll find warm, comfy, lovely. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, if comfort with a mummy bag, that's kind of personal preference, isn't it? But but that's yeah, that. The, but it's big, it, isn't it? It's that's yeah. the problem. So it's, that's fine. But I think I would still I would invest because you can't beat down. Down is amazing stuff. I suppose you've got to be a bit more cautious with it. You the way you store it and mm. all this stuff. So, but I, I'm just saying what I would do. I think. And then clothing-wise, this jacket is definitely 99% of what my mm. Arc'teryx one is. The fleece, this was £6. I've got ones that cost £60. And it's the same. Mm. It's the same. Mm. It's fleece. I mean, there's nothing special about it. So, um, yeah, trousers, I would invest. I'll be honest. I think these, I've been on my knees. You can see, mm. these, these wouldn't last, you know, maybe five or six trips out. I'd go through them, so invest in good trousers. Going camping and hiking is different. I keep leaning towards the. Well, I think we're kind hiking. of we've geared it towards camping. Well, camping, but with stuff with the idea that you're carrying your kit. What else is there then? Oh, things like the equipment. This headlamp is an Alp kit headlamp. It was twenty five pounds. Mm. Definitely yeah. as good as anything else. Mm. I think we've covered most things, there, haven't we? Yeah. These are only our thoughts, aren't they? Yes. It's strange. We we've, we've done quite a lot of this sort of stuff. But uh, I still wouldn't consider myself an expert on it. I, do you no. know what I am? I would say I'm an expert in the ultralight hiking because mm. I had to be. Yeah, because that, that was the only way to do the. Yeah. So, so if I'm if I'm an expert in anything, it's that. So we we've, we've looked, and everything that I used tonight, which is everything you need apart from the boots. Aside from the boots, all of your your clothes, your trousers, t-shirt, your your layers, your raincoat. Um, the tent, sleeping bag, um, sleeping pad, pillow, everything like that, mm. and even a knife and a saw, a few things. You're looking at we it's under five hundred pounds. Yeah, it's about four seven five. It was, I think, yeah. what we said. So that's really not bad, is it? And none of this stuff is inadequate. So there, that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah. obviously, we'll hmm? let people know how the actual night is if the tent falls apart. Yeah. And I your will. air pad. It, Air mattress deflates. deflates. Oh my god! Then uh, no, we might reevaluate the. Yeah. In the morning, <laughs> if I wake up and I look, actually, I always look shocking. Yeah, I was going to say it's no judge, is it? Yeah, it's not. So we're going to let this burn out, and then make sure it's out properly. Obviously, you cut some thick logs in the end, I so know. it could be a long wait. What's ah. it, what do they say? Yeah. Cut, what's, what's the saying about we get warm twice or something like that, isn't it? Or something Never heard cut, that. Yeah, cutting the wood and then burning it. Burning it. 
Oh, I've never heard that. I don't think that is a sale. I it think is. you're just you're just trying to be clever. It, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it does work. Yeah. So we're gonna let this burn out. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to bed. You're yeah. gonna go into the hammock. I am. What's that? I'm gonna go in my bobcat. And then uh, in the morning, what have we got for breakfast? Pancakes. Excellent. With syrup. Yeah, I did bring syrup. Actual maple syrup. Maple syrup. Not maple flavored syrup. Not maple flavored. Oh. And. Uh, yeah, I thought again for the direct comparison to your titanium. That was awful. Fiasco. It was a fiasco, wasn't it? It, re it was. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. He's up before me. This is not typical. Morning. I had a decent night in here. It's very, very small. It's a true one man tent. This sort of sleeping part is the size of the sleeping pad and no more. But it was fine, it was good. Good little tent though, and zero condensation, nothing. I mean, it is, it is windy, but um, I'm impressed. I know why I don't use mummy sleeping bags anymore and only use quilts. Just some sort of modern day torture device. It's so constricting, it's horrible. But it kept me warm. And this pad was excellent. Trekology pad. I think it's thicker than my thermal rest. The other leg broke off. It's now a monopod. What do you do to them? Just use them. Use them. I know. I, honestly, yeah, what am I thinking? <laughs> Just little metal rods. It is, it's just sheared off, isn't it? This is, I'm not lying if I tell you this is the second time I've used it. To be fair to Joby, if I email them now and say that's broke, they'll just send me a new one. But the problem is I don't actually want a new one anymore. I mean, at least the one, the one I had on the GDMBR, that one I had respect for. Mm. That took some punishment. Would this one deserve a funeral? No, no. definitely not. No, that one's in limbo <laughs> forever. It should be grateful it's not going straight to hell. Tripod hell. <laughs> With, <laughs> I was try I see. I'm too slow. I was thinking of a word for Satan that's related to tripods. Tripod leapub. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't you? Is the monopod existence limbo for tripods? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. And if they yeah. prove themselves as a monopod, they come back as a duopod, <laughs> <laughs> which is entirely useless. Pancakes are nice. Yeah, come along nice. Oh, come on, so, say. Good. Hmm. so how was your night in the tent? Good. I wouldn't want to be any bigger. I think six foot is a limit. Yeah, I had a lay in there, didn't I? That yeah. is, I'm six one and that was uh, a bit tight. I, I th I, it would be okay. Mm. Like you just have to sleep with a very slight bend in the legs otherwise. Yeah. I think if you're full extension, then you're probably feet are touching the end. And you said that my, when we were trying it out, my feet were pressing the inner yeah. against the outer wall so you'd get water yeah, I think issues, so. I think, condensation. They or should have made it a little bit bigger. It wouldn't have added much to the weight. If I was going to buy a tent now and I was starting out, I would definitely buy that. Yeah, that's Even though, I mean, tent. it can't be perfect. I, I no like tent it. is perfect, is it? Just look at, look at my other videos. But for, for the money, you can't beat that one. And it does look very sturdy. And the fact that it's slightly too small is not enough to dissuade me from recommending it. I also, like the it. fact it's green like you yeah. know if you want to do a bit of stealth, stealth camping like often i think that's people moan don't they that the uh mm. you know camping gear often is just fluorescent colors and, yeah you know um, no it does blend in doesn't it yeah it, it does. does it does blend in and it's designed so you can sit in it yes. and cook so they they've really thought out and the door can be pinned out yes you to make a little out. awning there's some definitely some thought going into that isn't it i i still think everything that i've used i would start with and recommend apart from the sleeping bag i think save yeah. money everywhere and get yourself a nice good quality down quilt i think i think that's that's interesting because obviously you were using that's actually my sleeping bag isn't it and i've yeah. used that i mean i don't go out as much as you but probably 20 30 times something yeah. like that and mm -hmm. i've always had a good night there is the mummy bags uh the, you know they they are designed you know they are the perfect shape for containing your heat and keeping you warm and yeah yeah you, you know you they are you know we've been out on some really cold nights and i've always been comfortable in that but yeah. it is 
You're just not being able to move your legs about is, yeah, is nice. frustrating. And, and the that's, quilt. That's the first night, so obviously I use your quilt, and that that is so nice. Like yeah. just being able to, well, just being like in, you know, just under a duvet sort of it's thing. It's exactly like, like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think what I'll do actually is put a summary in the description yeah. for this. We should, shouldn't we? Yeah. Put some links to things. I mean, they're not affiliate links. There's no money to be made for us out of this so i'm going to put some links to the stuff i recommend and summarize what i think but i reckon for 200 quid you could probably get a decent down quilt mm. and then you're adding what 150 to the total cost that's the only thing that's where i would put my money i think ow what for just off the pan fresh from the pan mm. good. right we're all packed up we've left no trace course now we're gonna hike out get the trail cam on the way so there was nothing on the trail cam no. but it was one night so we've decided to set it up here yeah leave it for a week or so we can come back here can't we yeah we should find it again that's what they're meant for and you don't yeah. expect to get something on the first night no especially though. we were relatively close probably mm. 50 meters away yeah. if they smelt us or anything they'd have stayed clear wouldn't they so not me nobody not could me. smell me only you <laughs> So, yeah, we'll see, and it's going to be part of this video. So, if we do catch anything, yeah. we're going to put it on the screen. Yes. So, yeah, hopefully you'll see something. Right, so, thank you for watching, and we are going to see you next time. Or when I'm next in. When he's next in. Yeah, I'll yeah. see you at some time in the future. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hopefully soon. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. <laughs> see you later. Goodbye. Bye.